Welcome to the premiere episode of Mike Shimeri's Music Collection. The title says it all. The goal of this series is to showcase physical copies of albums in my music collection. I have over 1,200 CDs and a handful of LPs. In this episode, we'll be looking at six albums in my collection that came out in 1981, the year I was born. Due to copyright restrictions, I can't play excerpts from these albums, but Amazon and eBay links are in the description if you're interested. Let's begin. We start with The Hot Shot by Dan Siegel. It's his second album. I have this on both LP and CD. I got the LP on eBay back in 2005, and when the CD became available a few years ago, I snatched that up. My favorite tracks on the album are the title tracks, Sweet Talk, The Twisted, The Wild West, and Full Moon. And every time there is a full moon, I think of that song, Gary Hagberg's guitar riff, and Dan Siegel's ah vocal at the end. If you don't want to get this album on eBay on either LP or CD, Dan Siegel has made it available digitally now that the copyright expired. You can buy it on Amazon or iTunes, and it's bundled with his other two Inner City Records albums, Night Ride and Oasis, which came out later in 81. The second album I chose for this episode is Voyeur by David Sanborn. All the tracks feature Marcus Miller on bass, and his bass leads off songs like Let's Just Say Goodbye and Run for Cover, both of which I like. Let's Just Say Goodbye was played in the local forecasts on the Weather Channel later in the 80s. Also on the album is Wake Me When It's Over, All I Need Is You, and It's You, which David performed with Bob James on their collaborative album Double Vision five years later. Album number three is Free Time by Spyro Gyra. It's their fifth album overall in their fifth year of existence. The year before, they put out two albums, Catching the Sun and Carnival, but that was the only year they did that. Included on Free Time is the title track, Telluride, Summer Strut, String Soup, the shortest track on the album, and Pacific Sunrise, the longest track. Pacific Sunrise is two songs in one. There's a reflective part at the beginning and end, and an energetic middle. And the cover art is nice. I'm sure many of us have listened to this album lying down with headphones on at one point or another. And that brings us to our fourth album, one of two with Joe Sample. This one is Joe Sample solo, Voices in the Rain. Among the instrumental tracks, I like the title track, which has some orchestration in it, Eye of the Hurricane, and Greener Grass. There are two vocal tracks on the album, including Burning Up the Carnival with Josie James. There are some crazy, echoey vocal interludes by Josie. It's Freaky Deaky. And this Freaky Deaky song was written by Joe Sample and Will Jennings. No relation to Waylon Jennings. And speaking of Waylon Jennings, there's a cover of his... On the Crusaders album that came out in 81, Standing Tall. And the cover was Luckin' Back, Texas, Back to the Basics of Love. Now on this Crusaders album, I love all the instrumental tracks, including the title track, which features Marcus Miller on bass. Marcus also plays bass on Sunshine in Your Eyes, but the rest of the bass is Wilton Felder, who also plays tenor and soprano saxophone. On Luckin' Back, Texas, he plays soprano, but on the others, it's tenor. Wilton, Joe Sample, and Sticks Hooper were the only original members of the Crusaders on this album. Larry Carlton, who joined the band in 74, was a guest on this album. The two vocal tracks feature Joe Cocker, and those tracks are I'm So Glad I'm Standing Here Today, and This Old World's Too Funky for Me. And those two songs are written by Joe Sample and Will Jennings who again bears no relation to Waylon. The last album I've selected from 1981 is a debut album by Yellow Jackets, called Yellow Jackets. Guitarist Robin Ford founded the band, which was rounded out by Russell Ferrante on piano and keyboards, Jimmy Haslip on bass, and Ricky Lawson on drums. Now my favorite tracks on the album are Matinee Idol, Imperial Strut, and Sittin' In It, which features Bobby Lyle. I have the 2003 re-release, which has four demo tracks, the demo version of Imperial Strut, Flat Tire, Katie, and Blondie. 
I remember listening to Flat Tire on my iPod while in traffic on the Cross Bronx Expressway back in May 2005, coming back from Penn State the day after my sister graduated. I like Russell Ferrante's solo on Katie as well as on both the demo version and album versions of Imperial Strut. He also has a couple of great solos on Matinee Idol, including the one that fades out at the end. Robin Ford has great solos of his own on both versions of Imperial Strut, as well as Flat Tire. And there you have it, six albums from the year of my birth, 1981. Let me know in the comments below if you have those or any other 81 releases. Until the next episode, thanks for watching. So long.